Hi, thanks for connecting to thatcable.com. We're always here to help. Hi, and welcome to another thatcable.com video. Today we will be showing you how to punch a Cat6 cable into a Cat6 keystone using an IDC punch down tool. The tool can be used for punching a wide range of networking cable such as Cat5e, Cat6 or BT telephone cable into IDC terminals. First of all, I will just explain what the IDC punch down tool does. It allows you to punch a cable into an IDC terminal securely without any soldering. It also has a cutter built into it which gets rid of any excess cable and gives you a great looking finish every time. For demonstration purposes we have used an offcut of Cat6 cable, a faceplate and an IDC punch down tool. All of these products are available in our shop and I have added links to these in the description below. So let's get started. The first step is to strip back the outer PVC layer of the cable. This can be done using a pair of snips or cable cutters or even an RJ45 crimp tool. Once removed you should see a cotton string although not all cables have these. Use a string to pull down on the PVC outer layer. Any excess including the internal cores should be trimmed up to the point where you first strip the outer PVC layer. We trim down the internal cores to this point as they may have been damaged once removing the outer PVC layer. This step is just a precaution as damage is unlikely. If you have a limited amount of cable in a back box then obviously you won't be able to trim down as much as it is always best to be careful. Step 2. You must now untwist and separate the cores. After you have done this look at the colour coding. There is a colour coding for 568A and 568B wiring. Most of the time straight through connections are required especially when running through a wall. This is where the same wiring standard is used at both ends of the cable. For example, you would wire 568B at both sides or 568A at both sides. You must then prepare to punch down the individual cores to the relevant terminals. You don't need to worry about stripping the outer PVC layer on each core as the IDC terminals do all the work for you. There are two razor sharp blades at each side of the cable. When the cable is pushed in, they cut through the insulation making a good connection with the internal core. Step 3. Once you have inserted the correct core into the correct terminal, place the punch down tool above the terminal with the cutting part facing the end of the core. Line this up with the terminal and press down until you hear a click. The core will now be securely in place and you will have trimmed the end of the core to leave it with a professional looking finish. You can also double check that the cable is well seated in the IDC terminal. And it's as simple as that. You can now repeat these steps for the rest of the cores and you will have completed the keystone before you know it. An IDC punch down tool is very simple to use and I hope we have made this easy to understand. If you require any further information on this product or any in our range, please do not hesitate to contact us. We want to know what confuses you in the world of audio and video. Leave a comment below with what you need help with and we will do our best to make a video for you. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.